Hey guys! Welcome back to my channel. Um, I have decided to start a whole new challenge. Um, I'm just inventing it as I go, so hopefully you guys enjoy it. I'm calling it the Stone Challenge. Yep, that's right, you heard it. The Stone Challenge, or Stoner, if you don't like stoned, or stony, or high, whatever. But the rules are... The very first rule is in, to play. Anytime you play this challenge, you must be high. If you are, for whatever crazy, stupid reason, against marijuana, or maybe marijuana is just not your thing, which is fine, um, you can be drunk instead. I'll accept alcohol as a substitute for marijuana if you do not prefer the flower, which is crazy if you don't. Anyway. So, on the stoner challenge, of course, you have to be drunk slash high, whatever you prefer. And you have to have, the next rule is that you have to have two of every age category. Um, and they have to be boy and girl. Um, except for, I just omitted adult. I just did young adult. Um, so... You have to have two children, two teens, two young adults, and two elders. Um, and so, and you know, one's boy, one's a girl. And the other rule is that your sims have to be related in twos. So, like, just like this sim has to be related to one other person. So, they'll be like, they don't all have to be related to all of each other. Just like she has to be related to at least one other person. He has to be related to at least one other person. She does, you know, so on and so forth. Like, I'll show you. Um, I had her be the daughter of the elder. And he is, well, we'll get into that. But anyway, that's the other role. You have to be related in twos. So... This is the first one. Um, I mostly just randomized the these Sims, and but then like I just let whatever was random come up, and then tweaked them a little bit. Uh, this is Julia Palacios, and yes, I also randomized the name, and she is going to be an artistic prodigy with um, a goof a goofball trait. And that's the other thing. You cannot cherry pick your traits. You have to do it random. Um, and I did do it random. I had recorded all this bit before as I was creating them. And I have this like spreadsheet that randomizes traits for you. And you, just, you just press the F9 button. But um, my program that I use to record while I'm playing also uses F9 as it starts stop. And it, you, you know, I'm high, I wasn't thinking, and I was pressing F9 to get the chart to randomize traits for me, and uh, it it cut in and out. <laughs> like, it kept starting and stopping the video, and I didn't realize it till after, so I'm just doing a reintroduction of this challenge. Um, but, yeah, so you just have to randomize it if you just want to close your eyes and do it that way, or if you have the random mod for the game or whatever. Do what you feels right, man. Just make sure it's random. Anyway, so, okay, Juliet Palacios. Um, she is artistic prodigy with a goofball trait. This is her everyday outfit. I think she's super adorable. I love this, like a little bunny sweater. Anyway, this is her everyday outfit. That's her formal outfit, her athletic outfit, which I also think is super cute, um, her sleepies, her party time, and her swim time. So that is Juliet Placios, and she is the daughter of Arjun Cordero. I'm not sure why they don't have the same last name. They have... Maybe I should change it. Cordero. So we'll make it Juliet Cordero. Since they're related. Like father-daughter style. Cordero. Right? Oh, shit. 
I dropped my hemp wig. Sorry, guys. Okay. Juliet Cordero. Arjun Cordero. Yes. And I have shared all these families up on the Sims gallery, whatever thing. So if you guys, you know, want to play this family, you can. Um, also, I've shared any um, create a Sims that I've made and any other households. Everything I make, I share up on the gallery. So if you've seen anything and you want to look at it, it's there. Um, and then this one automatically ger generated, and I thought he looks like Harry Potter. <laughs> And, I mean, he didn't have the glasses, but even without the glasses, I thought he looked kind of like Harry Potter. So, I named him Harry Hip Potter. Because <laughs> I thought he was, like, a hipster, too. Anyway, so he is a rambunctious scamp who is neat. Um, and this is his everyday outfit. And he has the glasses in every single setting. No worries. This is his formal outfit, which, oh my, my fucking god, you guys, how adorable does Harry Hip Potter look? I mean, how could you not? I need a plushie of that or something. Um, here's his sporty outfit. Here's his sleepy times. Here's his party times. And here's his swimmy swim swim times. So, there's that. Okay, and now for the team. This is, I think she looks so cool, and I keep forgetting she's a teen, like, because the teens look just like they're freaking, oh, Harry Hip Potter, we need to do who he's related to. Mother. Anita is his mother. And we can get away with the mom because it, the kids generally always take the dad's last name, so, like, maybe her his parents got divorced. I didn't realize I had done that. Oh, cool. Anyway, there's Harry Hit Potter, probably my favorite sim I've made ever in any situation. Okay, this is Gal Gadot. I think she looks so cool. And I named her after that actress, Gal Gadot. I think she's going to be, I think that's her name, at least. I'm not sure. She's in Fast and Furious movies, a few of them. And... She's also going to be the new um, Wonder Woman, I believe. Anyway, the Sim automatically generated, and I thought she looked like her. So I just named her after that. So that one's not random. But anyway, her traits came out as Master Chef with an outgoing trait and a materialistic trait. And I made her very, um, like, punk-ish. Her outfit very punkish. I really love this hair. This is um some custom content I downloaded. I love some of the shoes and the pants. Actually, I think everything except for the shirt is. Maybe that necklace. Anyway, um I uh I just really like her. I think she looks cool. So this is her every day and look at her lipstick. <laughs> I gave her some funky lipstick. <laughs> okay, guys. In case you're wondering, I did get super stony just to re-record this introduction, so don't worry. I'm pretty stony right now. All right, this is her every day. This is her partay. No, this is her formal. Uh, this is her athleticness. This is her sleep sleep. This is her party on. Don't you love that makeup? Look at that. She's working it. She's fierce. Fierce. Anyway. Actually, you know what? Since I've done this, I've got the... I have that luxury shit. And they have the super winged. Which one's better? That one. She has those um, Disney princess eyes. I made her eyes huge. I just think she's really pretty. Look at that. Even more fierce. This is her going to a party. And remember, she's only a teen. The teens look just like the adults, so it's super fucking confusing. And then this is her swim, 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 swimming. Just keep swimming. And she has a sister. And her sister, I believe, is the girl, Kaylee. This girl here with the curly hair. 
this is who that is. All right. And then the other teenager is Ian Valentine. Woo, 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 woo. And he wants to have a successful lineage. And he has a good trait. No, that's a bro trait. Bro trait. And uh, he hates children. So this should get interesting since there's two children in the house. Anyway. Um, this is his everyday outfit. Um... This is his formal outfit, his athleticness outfit, his bodybuilderous outfit. No, his sleeping outfit. I just saw the muscles and I was thinking bodybuilder. <laughs> anyway, sleeping time outfit. Um, here's his party outfit. And there's his swim swims. So there is Ian Valentine, and he has a brother, a brother, who is the young adult. Um, no, a father who is the young adult. Okay, yeah, that's his father. Okay, so... And... Okay, so yeah, so this is his father. His father's a young adult, and he's a teen. So, you know, maybe his dad just got his baby mama pregnant when they were, like, 16, so they're just really close in age. Don't judge them, okay? They've had a hard life. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> what are the names? Ian Valentine and Maximus Hoover? Who votes for Valentine to be their last name? I do. E-A-L-E-N-T-I-N-E. -E. Had to fix a few things, guys. I'm sorry. Okay. This is Kaylee Woodson, and I really like her, too. I really like the way she came out. I like the way all my girls come out. I like making girl sims better than boy sims. They're more fun to play. They're like a doll. Anyway, she came out as Master Chef um, with mean. She has a mean trait, an active trait, and a perfectionist trait. So she should be a real bitch who's hard to fight. Um, so it'll be interesting playing with her. Sipping on my Starbucks. Rafa Anyway, so uh, what are we doing here? Okay, her everyday. I really like her everyday outfit. Especially the little necklace and everything. It's super fucking cute. Okay. There's this outfit for her everyday. Um, here's this outfit for her formals. Here is this outfit for her exercising. Uh, here is this sleepy times. Here is this parte, yeah, outfit. And this is her swim outfit. This cannot be. Let's just get the right top here, guys. I am i don't know if I left it like that intentionally while I was high the other day. Or because I filmed the, the actual gameplay, like the making of them and gameplay the other day. And then, you know, I got high today and was like let me refilm that intro since it got all fucked up so I don't know maybe that was a mistake maybe I don't know anyway so here's a more normal swim time outfit even stoned I can tell that, that was weird and it was super fucked up I don't know um party here 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 okay here is her everyday so that's my favorite and her sister is Gal Gadot um, they're half sisters, <laughs> guys. <laughs> Same mom, different daddies. They do kind of look a little similar. I think I, yeah, a little. Right? Eh, maybe not even a little. I don't know. Who cares? They're sis. They're half sisters, guys. Um, 
And so that's the first young adult. Here's the next young adult. His name's Maximus Valentino. Woo! <laughs> that's pretty trippy. Anyway, it looks like uh, superheroes who, when they spin, are like they're every day, and then they spin, and then they're a superhero. It's like Maximus Valentine by day. Superman by night, or whatever. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. It looks like something should happen. Anyway, I'll stop doing that. His um, thing was he wants a successful lineage. He has a bro trait, a non committal trait, and a childish trait. So <laughs> the other young adult will probably hate him. <laughs> Um, this is Maximus's everyday. Here is his formal. Here is his athletic. Here's his sleepwear. Here's his party wear. And here's his swim swims. Oh, and there's a tattoo. I, I do remember doing that. I wanted to add something. Make him look tough or something. I don't know. He got a girl pregnant when he was 16. He can't be very responsible. <laughs> Just kidding. Shit happens, guys. No judgment. Um, okay, this is Anita King, the cutest little old person ever. And she came out as a nerd brain. Uh, mean. She has a mean trait, a goofball trait, and she hates children. But she does have a kid, and her, if, let's remember, Anita Kin's child is Harry Hip Potter. So, I mean, how can you possibly hate this kid? He's the cutest fucking simp to ever exist in the whole planet. Like, hands down. He's fucking adorable. Like, I want, this is my favorite sim ever. I'm going to take so many pictures of him. Okay, so anyway, Anita King. This is her everyday outfit. This is her formal outfit. I know it has a sticker on it because it's technically retail. But this was the only, like, grandma-ish thing I could find. I had, I mean, that I had that um, didn't look, like, absurd. Like, there was this one, like, old woman dress I had. But, I mean, even that was just, it was hideous, so. She just likes to let people know who she is in case she forgets because she's old. She could be forgetting. Um, I don't know how she she ended up with a very, very young son. She she bred at an elderly age. Anyway. My dog's barking. Ain't nobody here, dude. Anyway. My computer's right by the window by our door. So I always check to make sure no tomfoolery is happening. Um, this is her athletic wear. This is her sleepy times. This is her party times. And this is her swim swimming times. Just keep swimming. Okay. Uh, that's Anita King. Um, who are you? Arun. Arjun? Arjun. Arjun. Arjun Cordero, who is Juliet Cordero's father. He... Is, has an athletic inspiration, aspiration, the bodybuilder one. And he has the geek trait, the creative trait, and the foodie trait. So he's probably actually a pretty cool cat. And it's a good thing he's at, we'll get that bodybuilder if he's a foodie so he doesn't get fat. Um, here's his everyday very sharp old man. Here's his formalness. Here's his athleticness. His sleepiness. His partiness. And his swimminess. Uh, Arjun Cordero. Arjun? Arjun. Arjun? Arjun? Arjun. Huh? Arjun. Arjun. I don't know. How do you think I should say it? Don't you hate when you have a frozen drink 
and then like you know all the water starts to gather on the outside of the drink and when you pick it up like you get a cold ass water drop on your fucking leg it's the pits man first world problems okay so this is my stoner challenge family and our in room member is this girl's dad um two you have to have two two kids two teens two you can make them young adult or adult i don't really care i kind of wish i had made them adult instead of young adult because that's what i prefer is there a cheat I don't know. Is that it? I guess it's not it. Anyway, I wish I had made them adults instead of young adults. We'll allow leeway because I love making this up as I go. And I'm stoned. So I might wait until I'm a couple episodes in to even upload this. Because I still need to figure out the rules. And then when I'm not high, I need to watch it back so I can write down the rules. Rolls, rolls, rolls. Rocking everywhere. Okay. So, they can be young adult or adult. Choice is up to you. But the main goal of this game is that every single one of these people must, must, must reach their aspiration before they die. And I initially said that they don't have to meet their midlife aspirations. But I'm going to say, no, they do. The kids have to get their kid aspiration. You know how they have, you know. I'm not really sure how you become master chef as a teen, but make it happen. You know, make it fucking hard on myself. I don't care. Anyway, they have to meet all their aspirations. So obviously once you become an, a young adult, you're a young adult, adult, and elder to meet that same aspiration. I don't think you get a different one when you become an elder. But I don't for sure. I, th I don't think you do. I don't think you do. Anyway. Anyway. Um, so yeah. They've got to meet all their aspirations. And you can have anything extra go on you want if you want um, to shit. If you wanted to like have them date someone or whatever. Okay. And as far as the cheats go. As far as the cheats go, no cheats allowed except for, like, um, there are some I will let happen. Um, you can use the move objects cheat. That one I don't give a shit about. Um, okay. Um, the... I'm having such a hard time thinking. Anyway, so uh, the only thing I really care about is that you don't use any, like, needs, no needs cheats um, and no, like, skills cheats and no, um, like, aspiration cheats, nothing like that. You can't, nothing that's going to improve the gameplay. The one cheat I don't care about that you can use is the money cheat. If you need more money to get something you think will help, because I know it'll be hard to get all of them to get their aspirate, like to get the kids get their kid aspiration before they become teens and so on and so forth. Um, so that's that I don't care about. You can use it or you could not use it. I did use it to get this house here, and I did like. Um, I did 
like add some things to this house since last time since I played. Um, I added a basement. The basement's a mess. I just threw a bunch of stuff down there, like skill building stuff. Um, <laughs> and you can see the bottom of the third one there. It's so anyway, um, that but yeah, that's a. I did that. This was just a house that was already there, so I got that. Um, that one. Um, and I threw beds in there enough for everybody. Anyway, um. I don't think I have anything else left to introduce. Oh, okay. So yeah, no cheats except if you really if you want to, you can use the money cheat. It's up to you. Maybe there's like the easy version where you can use the money cheat and the hard version where you can't. I'm going to play the easy version first. It may be you know whatever. Anyway, um so but no you know, no needs cheats, no no any other cheats. You can use the money cheat, and you can use the move objects cheat. But anything else is forbidden. Um, and you have a full household, so you can't really bring anyone else in until somebody dies, until obviously the elders will hopefully be your first sims to die, um, just because they get old, not because. We hate elders. But anyway, um, yeah. So we'll just end that here. Um, that'll just cut back to the video that I've been filming before. I just needed to refilm this little introduction, get to know the characters and everything. So, yep, enjoy the gameplay.